Have you ever traveled down the Souk Highway and noticed an old Navy ship sitting in Cooper's Cove in Souk? I'm Owen Brady, and I've been curious about this ship for as long as I can remember. I've just dug up its backstory, and today we're going to go over its fascinating history on Vancouver Island Narratives. Her Majesty's Canadian Ship Cowichan, or HMCS Cowichan MCB-162, is a fine name given to the vessel you see here behind me. However, it's not the first to bear that name. The first HMCS Cowichan, or J-146, was launched in September of 1940 and was later present in Normandy on D-Day in 1944. That round trip journey would earn the ship some battle honors and awards, and those of which being the Atlantic 1941-43, Normandy 1944, and English Channel 1944-45. These publicly honor the presence of a ship and its contribution to specific events. This information will be important later when I tell you how this ship right behind me also carries the same, those three same honors despite being built 15 years after those events happened. The second HMCS Cowichan, or 147, was built in November 1951 and after four months of commission work was eventually transferred to the French Navy and then scuttled. And thus brings us to our current ship, the one located here behind me. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any closer to the ship as that bit of land is on private property. However, I was able to find this strip of land right here where I am able to film and we can still see the Cowichan. Plus, I'm allowed to fly my drone in this bay, so you will get a closer look that way as well. Made out of aluminum and wood by Yarrows Limited in Esquimalt, with a length of 152 feet, a max speed of 16 knots, armed with a 40 millimeter Bofors gun, complemented with three officers and 35 men, this Bay Class Minesweeper was officially ready to go in February 1957. Commissioned later as a part of the Training Group Pacific, she would serve as a training minesweeper for the next 40 years. To put that in perspective, if that same ship launched today, it would be sailing till at least 2062. All that time would be damaging on the wood and aluminum, so you might think about making it out of a more durable material. However, wood and aluminum were vital to the ship's core fundamentals. You see, being a Bay Class minesweeper, this ship had to be non-magnetic so that the magnetic mines that it was sweeping would not be attracted to the ship itself. Otherwise, that would be quite devastating. The original Cowagen, J146, managed to sweep a total of 26 mines at Omaha Beach before D-Day using these same materials. So now we know when and why the Cowagen was commissioned, who and where it served, and what its purpose was for. But you still might ask yourself, why is it sitting in this bay at the old Lamford Sawmill? And why does it have battle honors predating its construction by 15 years? To not answer the first question, I don't know why it's sitting in this bay at the old Lamford Sawmill. All I could find is that in 1999, it was bought privately to be converted to a yacht, which never happened. And according to this one article, a local business here in Souk owns it. Maybe one of you viewers knows and will, happy be, and will be happy to share in the comments down below, but otherwise I have no answer for why it's sitting in this bay. To answer the second question, I do know why it has battle honors and awards predating its construction by 15 years. The Royal Navy and the Royal Canadian Navy awards honors, publicly recognizing a ship and its presence and contribution to specific events, like for example, Normandy 1944. However, this is not awarded to the ship's hull, but to the ship's name, like in this case, HMCS Cowichan. So if in this case, the HMCS Cowichan is awarded an honor, such as Normandy 1944, and then it goes and changes its name, it will lose all honors tied to that old name. Equivalently, if a new ship is named the HMCS Cowichan, it will acquire all titles, awards and honors, that the old HMCS Cowichan have acquired. Of course, this doesn't really always work out smoothly, and sometimes you end up with certain Canadian ships having awards and honors that predate the foundation of Canada as a country, like for example, HMCS Unicorn and its battle award, Armada 1588. So interesting. 
And so, that is the story of the old abandoned Navy ship sitting off the Sioux coast of BC Highway 14. A special thank you goes out to Gary for graciously allowing me his photos and his knowledge from the website for posterity's sake. There was a lot of information I did not go over in this video, so if you'd like to take a deeper look, I highly encourage you to check out his website or some of the other links I've left in the, in the description down below. If you have any other suggestions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. On the left, you should see a total list of all the narratives I've done so far, and on the right, is a, is a video that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Thank you very much. Please leave a like. Have a nice day.